Well, it's getting a lot of publicity because President Herbst is out there trying to make it sound like it's Armageddon. And, you know, the truth of the matter is, is that, you know, this issue of $200 million, she can't absorb. She doesn't want to, but she can. And look, if she has a solution, I'd like to hear her solution. Does she want to tax more people? Does she want to go after municipalities? Does she want to go after local education or social services? Because that's the only other areas that she can find the money. But if she wants to give me a solution, uh, Themis and I are open to it. And, the, and this budget is about choices, okay? That's part of the problem here. And we believe. Her choice. And we understand that unlike cities and towns who are drowning in unfunded mandates, unlike them, UConn has other funding sources that they are able to go towards to try and make up some of that difference. We have given her opportunities in this budget, uh, changes the procurement process that they've always been interested in, allowing um, and asking and requiring teachers, professors, to teach one more class a week. I mean, these are reasonable changes to a budget that is in dire, dire straits. And we have said from the beginning, no matter whose budget it is, these are tough choices. But we have to prioritize. Do you want to take from elderly and children and social services and the disabled and nonprofits? We all have to take a little bit of a hit here.